Good evening everyone and welcome to Price Action Trading School. Today we will talk about Wolf Waves. Uh, one of the things that we will also do live trading with and something that I really like to use in some forms of intraday trading. Of course, uh, <clears throat> we will be we're putting our accent on POC zones that are also scheduled for next month. But uh, one of the things that I really like to see, especially when it comes to trading, is so-called wolf waves. And uh, we will talk about it today. So uh, before I begin, as always, standard risk disclaimer explaining that CFD and Forex trading are leveraged products and can result in losses that exceed your deposits. So it's not suitable for everyone. So this presentation is for informational and educational purposes only. So today's agenda will be reasoning, why use it, when to use it, rules for charting strict wool waves and for charting non-strict wool waves. And I will show you how to chart it. Although uh, I use the indicator, that, uh, that uh, charts automatically wool waves for me. Unfortunately, this indicator is not in my property. Uh, there are also some free indicators that can chart wool waves. You can Google for it, but uh, this one was specially coded, uh, and I, I have tested it, so I will show you later. Uh, the thing is that uh, it respects the rules of wool waves. I haven't used any of free ones. So, unfortunately, I am not able to share it with you because it's paid indicator. So, the owner of the indicator asks, uh, of course, money for it. It's, it, it. it's his property. I don't have MQ4 source file, so I cannot share it. So, definitely we need to respect it. But uh, the logic behind charting is very, very simple when you get used to it. So, I will also show you how to... Uh, do it manually. You don't need to have the indicator. I mean, the indicator is, of course, much easier if you have it, but you don't have to. Anyway, you don't need to, of course, uh, uh, search for anything that is paid. This is free, and as long as I am concerned, I will provide you, when we start with uh, Wolf Wave, uh, <laughs> sorry, when we start with uh, live trading on Wednesdays, uh, of course, if I if I uh, see that uh, the signal is good, is valid, and that is per Wolf Wave rules, then we will trade it. So you don't have to worry about it. So this is uh, just an example of uh, Wolf Waves. Uh, the thing is that uh, we can always watch for bullish Wolf Wave and bearish Wolf Wave. Uh, uh, the indicator is mostly used in a form of breakout trading, okay, breakout trading. Uh, it's, it is not something that we use uh, every single time uh, when we see a potential wave, but rather we see when uh, we, we try to trade it if there is a reasoning behind it. So let's say that uh, how I do it, it's a slightly different from, of course, original rules, because the original rules uh, just, uh, they tell you to trade when a certain trend line has been broken, such as this one. I will go with, uh, with rules. But I still need to have some filter, because I'm a price action trader, and uh, uh, I can only see the validity of a potential wool wave if it's in agreement with my, let's say, ATR rules, or with some general rules such as potential retracement or trend continuation. I will go with it slightly later. Uh, also, uh, this explains how waves are uh, charted. Uh, it's uh, different to Elliott waves, but it uses a similar logic where uh, actually there are uh, five points within uh, the wool wave. Uh, point one to three is the most important because a uh, trend line that is created with one to three points serves as the breakout. One to four points serves as the target. I will go with it just a little bit later. Uh, the reasoning behind wool waves is that those are waves of supply and demand. 
and uh, those waves form their own equilibrium. Now pay attention, this is the basic uh, definition of Wolf Wave that is also uh, indicated by the creator of the Wolf Waves, Mr. Bill Wolf. Uh, the thing is that uh, in his uh, teaching, he implied that waves of, uh, that those are waves of supply and demand. Well guys, uh, in, in my teaching, uh, definitely, I can say it's the truth, but uh, uh, waves of supply and demand for me are POC zones, okay? So uh, I, I will always uh, look for some important part of confluence within the chart to further filter potentially bad signals with uh, wool waves. Of course, uh, <clears throat> the indicator, not just the indicator, but the wool wave is a uh, is a great count and it uses really a good logic for price action patterns. But still, how I see the validity is we need to test if there is other confluence parts. I mean, everything would be that easy, right? Just get an indicator, grab expert advisor and trade by it, but it's not. So we definitely need to reevaluate potential zone that wool wave has also indicated and see if it's a valid breakout point. Uh, of course, as I say, I will show you how to do this, but uh, wool waves cannot be, uh, cannot be learned in just one session. Uh, actually, I have seen there are, there are also a lot of some courses, a lot of courses uh, just teaching wool waves, but I don't think that the course for this is important because you only need to learn uh, how wool waves are charted and then assess your own with your own judgment if a breakout and the signal uh, of the wool wave is actually valid okay <clears throat> but that is what uh, of course we will be practicing guys uh, in in the sense uh, of uh, of course uh, live trading because when we do live trading starting from potentially February February next year uh, I will uh, give you uh, of course trades that are also valid by my own judgment okay so that way you will also be seeing some potentially uh, you will have some actually practice with wool waves uh, the thing is that wool waves can be shown and can uh, can uh, you can identify in every single time frame for intraday purposes, my favorite uh, time frame of choice for wolf waves is 30 minute time frame. So I have uh, been, I, I've been watching uh, different time frames and I, be, I, I was really trying to see how they behave on four hour time frame. In my opinion, on higher time frames, they still can be valid, but the main thing is uh, I don't like uh, those breakouts on higher time frames because usually price has already started to move. In contrary, on 30 minute time frame, uh, that is an intraday time frame, wool waves can really generate a huge amount of valid waves within the correct price uh, structure, such as the POC zone. So uh, my testing, I'm not, um, of course, I'm not, uh, I'm not the creator of wool waves, nor I have been uh, attending any course. But in my, how I see it, 30-minute time frame for charting is well enough and good enough. But we also need to actually uh, take POC zones or at least some other confluence points into the account, because those waves form supply and demand in their own equilibrium, we expect the price to break out from that equilibrium and make some movement. That is when five-point pattern that is a wool wave comes into play. That five-point pattern is actually called wool wave, so you as a trader need to correctly identify all five points. After that, after we see some valid breakthrough from the equilibrium, price will move and then again it will try to reach new equilibrium that is set by new supply and demand. Okay? 
Uh, wall waves are used in breakout trading, counter trend trading. Also, it's, uh, th those are based on price formations that follows the rhythm of the market. Once you master charting with wool waves, you should be really very easy and comfortable to trade it properly. Now, have in mind that wool waves do not appear every single time, every single time uh, uh, on, on charts. So you sometimes you need to be patient and you need to actually wait for it to form in order to trade it successfully. But rest assured that usually uh, it, they will appear on intraday time frame approximately one or two times per trade, per, per trading day. So, wool waves, uh, if you remember my analysis uh, of, uh, I gave you the analysis uh, just before Christmas of Australian dollar New Zealand, you could have made money with a simple wool wave breakout. Also, for a slightly deeper, deeper understanding of wool wave, guys, uh, here we have a blog. It's called Wool Waves and How to Identify Them. So uh, you might use this blog. I really strongly advise you to read this blog because this blog also explains wool waves in, in, a, in a good amount of details. Okay? So be sure to read my blog. Uh, also, uh, let's get back to uh, our slides. Uh, here, uh, when to use it, okay? We use it for intraday trading most of the time. I mean, uh, it's not, as I already said, it's not time frame dependent. But simply said, uh, in, in my own uh, analysis and judgment, well, 30 minutes time frame is time frame that we will be trading it after price action trading school ends. Also, it's used for breakout trading, and I mostly use it for additional breakout trading. Uh, it's uh, pretty much, in my opinion, it's pretty much very, very useful. Then end-of-day reversals, it's also very good to use it for end-of-day reversals. But as I said, <coughs> it, it needs just a slight confirmation with other tools. My favorite tools is <clears throat> Confluence, okay? I want to see also other Confluence parts, not just wool waves and one to three trend line breaks. I will explain what one to three trend line breaks are. So I really want to see other tools uh, such as Confluence patterns, ATR, guys, very important, ATR indicator, and, of course, my favorite, it's my child. I mean, I need to say my child because I created it. POC zone. So, POC zones. We will deal with it, of course, uh, next month. But uh, I need to say POC charting is pretty much subjective. That is uh, what uh, makes my analysis so true, so good. But POC zones, I need to say, guys, are very subjective. You really need to master price action, the rhythm of the market, in order to chart POC zones correctly. There is no indicator for POC zones, and it's impossible to make any indicator for POC because POC is subjective. It uses human mind, understanding of price action. And every trader, I mean, I guess, every trader sees the uh, price action differently. But of course, I will also show you how I personally chart POC zones in next webinar. So additional confirmation is some sort of confluence that I want to see when wool wave signal is generated. How we chart wool waves? Have in mind that we have strict wool waves and non-strict wool waves. I personally tend to go with non-strict wool waves because even though uh, wool waves, I, I will give, I will explain the difference between it. I mean, this is the only difference that 0.4 needs to be between 0.1 and 0.2, uh, 
but well, if we use non-strict rules, 0.4 can be, of course, above or below. So it's just a slight, slight, slight difference between strict and non-strict uh, wool waves. Uh, here, guys, uh, this is how we do it. First, for bullish wool wave, we start at the top. Okay, we start at the top. Point 0.2 is the top. Point 0.3 is the bottom of the first decline. Point 0.1 is the bottom prior to point 0.2. That 3 has surpassed. Point 0.4 is the top of the rally after point 0.3. 0.5 is the bottom of the 0.4 and is likely to exceed the extended. Then we need to chart trend line from 0.1 to 0.3. This is the entry point for a ride to the estimated price arrival line 1 to 4. EPA or estimated price at arrival is trend line of 1 to 4 at apex of extended line. Trend line of 1 to 3 and extended trend line of 2 to 4. This might be confusing, and I know it's confusing, but uh, because uh, you are very new to this, I presume, I mean, there, are, there is not a lot of education concerning uh, those, those uh, wool waves and, and patterns. I uh, feel obliged to actually show you how it looks. We will start with uh, live charts, of course, and this is how it looks like. Okay, here, first of all, we will use this bullish wave count, bullish wool wave count principle, okay, and then you will see the logic behind it. I will use this to mark uh, points for you. So first we start at the top, okay, we start at the top. This is actually the top, okay, and this is point two. Okay, this is point two. Then point one is the bottom prior to point two. This is point one. Okay. Okay, this is point one. Here. So we have point one, point two, and point three. The third point is the bottom of the first decline. So first decline is here. So that is point 0.3, okay? So point 0.3 is here. Then we have point 0.4 that is the top of the rally after point 0.3. Guys, uh, you can, uh, of course, uh, snapshot uh, uh, the rules for charting. I will later show you again. So 1, 2, 3, then we have point 0.4. Okay, point four. Uh, <clears throat> Ilya is saying the sound is, he can hear me. I think sound is okay. Sound should be okay, I guess. So point four. Okay, this is point four, guys. And finally, four, point 0.5 is the bottom after point 0.4. And this is point 0.5, guys. Now, we have one rule that is very important. And that rule is we need to see a trend line break of point 0.1 to point 0.3. So watch this trend line here. Okay, we can also extend this trend line. See, this is 1 to 3 trend line after point 0.5 has been charted. Point 0.1 to point 0.4, guys, is the estimated target, or how Bill Wolf calls it, estimated price at arrival, or EPA in short. So 1 to 4 here, you see, this is where we expect price to get. What happened, guys, here? You see? This is bullish wolf wave. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I mean, as you see, the indicator charts it, but I still, as a trader, 
need to assess if the point breakout point of point one to point three was valid. It is your job as trader to see if there is a bull, uh, wolf wave and if it's actually tradable. One, two, three, four, five point pattern, one to three trend line break, one to four estimated price at arrival is the final target here. Entry point was here, target was here, exactly 100 pips. Now, of course, as every form of trading, guys, you need to understand that it's objective how many pips you will take, how many pips you will aim for, but have in mind that EPA point, point 0.1 to point 0.4 uh, is respected in volatile markets. So if market is volatile, uh, EPA point will be respected, but you need to wait for that, okay? Uh, here, uh, the question, uh, why uh, is point two not marked to high point on the left? Okay, this is another bullish wolf wave. This is bearish wolf wave, okay? I will uh, I will show you again, okay? This is another count. One, two, three, four, five. But let's go step by step, Martin. Let's go step by step. So, you see, there was volatility, guys. Of course, after the gap. And... Po and uh, EPA point was definitely hit. But sometimes when there is no volatility, you will not see EPA point hit, but rather than you need to cut your profits, scale out, and ensure that your profits are taken. Okay? Ah, okay, here, uh, Martin, uh, when this is when we started, of course, bullish wolf wave count. You see? This is point, I will chart this again, okay? This is point two here, okay? This is point two. I, uh, uh, let me go step by step, then I will answer questions. Point two, point one, point three, Point four and point five bullish. Okay, it's almost exactly here, guys. You see where point one was at the second wool wave count. So this is for this point five. See, and this is one to three trend line here. See, trend line. And here, trend line was broken. This was 1 to 4 price, estimated price at arrival. What happened is, price broke through, made 20 pips, and then start retracing. So, you see, sometimes, sometimes you need to know that when there is no big volatility, especially when it comes to end-of-day trading, Estimated price at arrival will not be hit. The question, what's the part of pain indicator? What's the free one? Uh, this is the indicator. I, I will not tell you where I bought the indicator because I will not be promoting anyone. Uh, you as my students, uh, I'm showing you how to chart it, but when you come to live trading, we will also use this indicator that I have uh, to assess potential potential trades, guys. Okay, that is what I can tell you because I still need to assess whether the breakout is valid or invalid or it should be taken or not. Uh, the thing is, you might go on Google and search for wolf wave indicators, and then you you might see there are there are some wolf wave indicators on Forex Factory website that are free. So you might grab it. I'm sure that there. I'm sure that I, I've seen a free indicator on Forex Factory. But before you use indicators, guys, you need to be clear with this. You need to understand basic principles. Okay, let's assess now bearish count. Okay, I will remove this one 
and we will go with bearish okay wall wave okay you, uh, martin is saying uh, there are there are uh, wool wave indicators on forex factory okay good and i think but still have in mind that you need to know the rules guys you cannot use indicators without knowing the logic uh, because indicators just apply what human mind has created okay so here guys these are the rules go with the rules that i'm presenting you with i don't have any free indicator because I wanted to see how paid indicator is doing and then I actually uh, when I saw that it, it's working fine then I ordered it because it follows rules that Mr. Bill Wolf explained in his teaching so when you use the indicator you need to know the rules and if the rules for original original book because Bull, Bill Wolf didn't create the indicator. He was creating his teaching called Bull, Wolf Waves. That's his creation. So the creation should be uh, followed exactly as it was written. So that is when you use the indicators. Bearish Wolf Waves is different. We start at the bottom. Point 0.2 is the bottom. Point 0.3 is the top of the first bounce. Point one is the top to point two that three has surpassed. Point four is the bottom of the decline after point three. Point five is the top after point four and is likely to break to the downside. Trend line one to three is entry point for a ride to the estimated price at the arrival line one to four. Okay? Now let's see, guys, how it looks. It will be much easier to show you here. So, point two is at the bottom, okay, point two. This is point two. Here, point two. Point one is here, the top prior to point two. Point three is the top of the first bounce. So after point two, we have the top of the first bounce. The first bounce, guys, okay? First bounce is this one. Point three. Point four is the bottom of the decline after point three, okay? After point three, the bottom of the decline. So point four. And point five is the top after point four. This was the top, guys. Here. Sometimes you might see that this top can be extended, of course. It can go here and here and there, but it doesn't matter because one should determine point five. You just need to wait for point one to three break. This is the signal. This candle that broke through this 1 to 3 trend line is the signal, guys. You see? So it doesn't matter. Sometimes this 0.5 will actually be extended. Really. Hugely. But it shouldn't bother you. Because 0.1 to 3 is what it counts. So once it starts its decline, this Point one to three needs to be br broken for a signal. This is entry. I usually take uh, happy, trigger happy entries. And here, one to four trend line. See, it was respected. This is Marubozu candle, guys. And now, if you follow, if you followed my price action trading school from the start, you know that. Marubozu candles are used in high volatility trading that we also covered in price action trading school. And you see, this was definitely volatile candle. I like to see these candles. And after this, it went down. Usually we place stop losses above 0.5.
above 0.5 there is a stop loss how much of course it depends on your risk guys you can put 100 pip stop loss if you risk 1% or you can put also 1% of a risk with 50 pip stop loss everything is about how you take the risk but general rule is that above 0.5 or below 0.5 for bullish wool waves is where we where we should put a stop loss there is no general rule like 10 pips above or 10 pips below i mean guys go with the risk it needs to be above 0.5 or below 0.5 how many pips it's up to you but i advise you to use stop loss always with the risk one percent of risk 1.5 percent is should be good okay so we see that actually this is let's see other examples guys for example here first we had before this one we had bullish wave uh, Shazad is asking how to know when to determine point two okay point two for example if we go with uh, bullish waves point two is the top so if this is a swing okay this was a swing right uh, I mean this is as I as I say this is very simple once you master uh, once you master price action and once you know at least how to identify those basic swings so this is a swing 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 you don't need an indicator for swings right swing high swing low then another lower high a lower low so let's say that we started to count waves after this point here. So this was the swing, okay? We saw a trend line break here, and now we probably knew that the price will change, okay? See? So point two is here, because this is the top swing, the top of this swing. Before point two, we should place point one. Point one is the bottom prior to point two, the top. So point two is always a swing. Point three is the bottom of the first decline. After a swing, guys, definitely this was a decline here. Okay? See how price went down see the top was not invalid now if this went higher then this would be the point two so it doesn't matter if this went higher we would just say that point two is a little bit higher but it started to decline and it stopped here so this is point three you can place a trend line now starting from point one going from to point three here okay Okay, here I will I will try to actually use. Let me see if it's possible. Yeah. You see, point one, point three extended. This was the entry. Point four here. And point five here. Trend line break here, see, again, strong Marubozu candle. I like to see those strong Marubozu candles. Break out because the price went below. Trend line, it broke the trend line subsequently. And point 0.1 to point 0.4, here, you can place a trend line also like this. Okay, it was hit. Okay, it was hit here so you see how it's not really hard to chart it and uh, well the best is when you have volatility when there is no volatility when there is no big movement in the market then you might be stuck in a wave that will not be completed and you might start to think about taking profits let's see the example this one guys Okay, I will clear this. Okay, we don't need this.
Okay. So, okay, that's a matter. Again, this was also a wolf wave here. Now, obviously, this was bearish wolf wave. Price started to grow, it started to reject, and we start to actually chart. Point two goes here. Sorry, point two. Point one goes here. Point three goes here. So you might get the indicator free from Forex Factory or wherever you have the indicator for charting, but you still need guys to understand the rules that I am showing you. Point four. Point five. I mostly use non-strict waves. And I told you the main difference that point four needs to be in between point one and point two. Now this is ideal wave, strict wave. But sometimes this point four will not be below or between, sorry, between point one and point two. When you see that point four is between point one, point two, you have the ideal wave, strict wave. Where is the entry, guys, here? This wave, trend line from 1 to 3, it can break. I prefer breaks in the same day, but sometimes it can break. Really, you need to pay attention for possible breaks in the next 5, 6, 7 days. And you see, this trend line, this trend line is broken here. And watch this, 50 pips. If you followed my analysis on Euro Dollar, I also told you that Euro Dollar could be traded both ways. And you saw we had a bullish signal, then we had a bearish signal. Uh, Martin is saying uh, the literature seems to suggest that point 0.5 should slightly break point 0.1 and 3 trend line to be valid. Maybe Martin in the old rules, probably if you read the original book from Bill Wolf, but as I said, uh, uh, we need to ad adapt to current market conditions. In my teaching of bull waves, I said I'm not always using strict bull, uh, bull waves uh, and by all means, this was a strict bull wave, okay? Although 0.5 uh, uh, didn't break immediately. So, this 0.5 can be extended even to the upside, Martin. But have in mind that if decline started from 0.5, I'm talking about bearish bull waves. Uh, <clears throat> 0.5 is where we expect decline to start, okay? Okay, so listen to me. 0.5 is where decline is starting. So only a decline after 0.5 should break 1 to 3 trend line like here. You see? So, Martin, uh, literature, uh, literature suggests that trend line break after 0.5 should happen only at 1 to 3 points. So, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, you see trend line break here, after 0 0.5. So that is the logic. 0 0.5 cannot be below the wave, because then it can be broken to the downside. So how I see it, and how I definitely see it without any exception is, that in bearish wool wave to be valid, 0 0.5 should be above 0 0.1 to 3 trend line, because it should be broken to the downside, like here, you see? It needs to break this trend line. So it needs to be above it for a bearish wave to be valid. It cannot be, it cannot be valid if 0.5 is charted below. It's not good. You see the logic? Shazad is, uh, ah, Martin is saying, I prefer your teaching. Thank you, Martin. I mean, uh, <clears throat> whenever I see something, I read something that I have not created originally. I need to see the logic inside it. And I need to test it. I need to see it on the charts. I am the creator of Camarilla MACD. I am the creator of POC Zones. And for that, 
I, I really can stand uh, whatever it needs to defend my logic because that is what you see we have success with it when I see teaching from other people I always want to test it so this is how ideal wool wave should look like one two three four point four between point two and uh, one and five point five is above one to three trend line and this trend line break is the entry well uh, the opposite direction is not good because this is only one time signal Rolando this is one time signal it means that once this breaks this is your signal here okay this is your signal so the thing is, you cannot take other signal here. If you miss this signal, you missed it. There is no other way you can enter subsequently in the market. Okay? There is no other way. So one to three point has been taken out, and now this signal has already been confirmed and in profit. And we go now we move on so we move on guys we don't watch euro dollar m30 anymore this was our intraday trade and it was good let's say we close euro dollar watch this guys bullish signal here obviously the price was in uptrend here okay uptrend on dollar swissy so this we might use also in trend trading for example, as a trend-based entry, of course, if it goes in accordance with other confluence tools. Point two, point one. Point three. Point four. Point five. Watch this. Price below, then bang, above. So I would take this signal here for a long entry. Point 0.1 to point 0.4. Estimated price at arrival, guys. See? It was hit again. Sometimes you will see these kind of opportunities, a lot of these wool waves, but you need to assess validity of it. Neglect these arrows. I don't follow arrows. I only follow my own logic. Where I put trades is where I hope that institutional traders put a trades. So for me, and per original Bill uh, Wolf rules, the signal is when one to three trend line is broken, and this was the signal here. So this was a long entry here. Point 0.2, point 0.1, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5. Estimated price at arrival, point 0.1 to point 0.4 here, guys. You see? Again. Bearish wool wave. Point 0.2, point 0.1, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5. Point 0.1, point 0.2, trend line break happened here. I prefer Marubozu candles as a signal for high volatility. This was not Marubozu, but judging from the picture of the body versus previous bodies, it's clear that, that this was a profit taking here. And point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, guys, we need to have a trend line here. Sometimes this trend line will not look that pretty. Okay? But you see, I mean... Obviously, what I do then is I watch previous price action. If this was double bottom, this was X cross of double bottom and 0.1 to 4 trend line. And this is how I determine target. So 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0.1 to 0.4. Estimated price at arrival trend line. Because it's a bit extended to the downside, this is how we can use it. See? To the pip here so guys uh, try to grab your free indicators on 
Forex Factory, I, I think that you don't need to be registered with Forex Factory. You can just download indicators without uh, registering. Uh, and, and use the logic. Uh, the, indicator should, the indicator should draw the pattern for you. But guys, follow this to see if the indicators actually works. If you are not sure, guys, that indicator works, send me screenshots and I will tell you the validity if the indicator is good or not. I can help you. Not Zoop indicator. Okay, Shazad, it's not Zoop. Not that one. It's not Zoop indicator. Zoop indicator is for harmonic patterns. It's not for wolf waves. So you need to search for wolf waves. Okay? I don't know that Zoop really shows uh, wolf waves. Uh, I know that uh, I actually uh, I, I, I have Zoop indicator, but it's not the same one. Zoop is a harmonic pattern indicator. It tries to spot harmonic patterns and uh, chart it on your screen. So I specifically am talking about wolf waves, guys. It's different. It's not harmonic patterns. It is harmonic in its nature, but it's not what Scott Carney was teaching. It's different. This is Bill Wolf teaching, wolf waves. Okay, so use these rules to see if your indicator works. Don't be blinded. Don't go blind with indicators. As I was saying, the indicator should follow you as a trader, your rules. These are the rules for wolf waves. If you are not sure about the indicator, send me email, and then when we have uh, uh, <clears throat> F and Q session, I will try to assess your screenshots and tell you if it works or not. Or I can send you an email if I have the time and give you my own opinion if the indicator is good or not. But send me an email, guys. I'm here to help you, of course. And <clears throat> finally, this is what I said. This is strict wool waves. 0.4 between 1 and 2. I don't use necessarily strict wool waves because if we use 0.4 between 0.1 and 0.2, then we will not have so many signals. For example, 1, 2, 3, you see, 0.4 is good. So this is also strict wave. 1, 2, 3, 4, you see, here, 0.4 is below. 0.1.2. See guys here. I will mark it like this. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. It doesn't matter. I mean, we don't need to. Now you 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 know the logic. And 0.4. So see, see guys, this is not a strict wolf way because 0.4 is below 0.1 and 0.2. But what happened is that the trend line 1 to 3 point was broken here and the signal was good. So that is why I don't use strict wool waves. Sometimes that not, they don't work. Shazad is uh, asking, can you find wool wave on Forex Factory? Uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not sure. I think I saw it on Forex Factory. But Shazad, try to Google it. Okay, try to Google it and try to see if it plots on your chart. I will uh, tell you if the indicator is good or not. But you can also tell it yourself just by using these rules. <clears throat> Still, if you're not sure, send an email and I will tell you. Uh, Rolando is asking, is it possible to enter trade at point 0.4? No, Rolando, no way. Okay, no way. You need to have five points. One, two, three, four, five. One to three trend line break is the only possible entry per Bill Wolf rules. Especially, guys, if I, I see if there is a confluence of previous historical sellers here, if there is a confluence with high momentum candles such as Marubozu, if that is the, the, the signal, then I can say sell. I'm not blind. I'm not stupid to go with every single signal I have. I, as a trader, need to assess the validity of any signal, any indicator 
gives me. And the indicator is just to show you a wool wave. And you need to see if it's valid or not. So for starters, guys, I really like to see this. You see this, Marubozu candle breaks. When you see this also, pin bars rejections. Below and above trend line. You see this. When you see this, you see this is what I would like to see. Below then upside in the form of Marubozu candles. When you see this, okay, your the chance is that your wool wave will be successful. This is Marubozu candle. Okay. Point one, point three here. See how it was rejected, retested. Okay. Point one, two, three. This was the break. Point one, two, three, four, five. Point one, two, three. Here, Marubozu signal. Let's see if I have the history here. You see. Below, then above. Watch this huge rejection. So you you should practice on dollar pair, yen pairs at starters. Okay, for starters, practice on euro, dollar, euro, dollar, dollar, yen, pound, dollar, pound, yen, Australian dollar, yen, dollar, cad. But but this is price section, so. It doesn't matter. You can work with any single pair. But for starters, if you're not sure, go with dollar and yen pairs. Okay, guys. So this was it. I hope that you enjoyed. Wool waves are something that we will also use in our live training. Uh, of course, we will be pre we will be focusing on POC zones as always as we go with daily analysis and session recaps. But if we also see a valid wolf wave, we will try to exploit it. So thank you guys for listening. Uh, uh, Shazad is saying thanks a lot. Can't wait for live sessions. You are great. Thank you, Shazad. I mean, it should happen. I think uh, in February, probably at the end of February, you will see that I already scheduled price action training school guys on Admiral Markets website. Here I will show you. And we try to fasten it a little bit so we can have a live training sessions on Wednesday here. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, analytics, uh, Forex blog here. <clears throat> Education, Forex and CFD webinars, and here. Okay, here. Course session recaps will continue in addition to live trainings here. Harmonic patterns, we will cover that. POC zone, so January has been scheduled. Thank you guys for listening to me. This was the last webinar for 2016. Uh, I really enjoy your comments, guys, and thank you for following me, for trading with Admiral, guys. And uh, we really, we really see, uh, we really see you as our friends, because I'm a trader too, guys. And for me, it's not about if you are good or bad, because there is no good or bad traders, guys. There is only good and bad, bad psychology because traders lose of their greed, of their psychology. If you know that there is big news that, for example, FOMC meeting or Fed meeting is there, you don't use wolf waves. You don't trade, guys, unless you want to gamble. So there are no bad traders. There is no good or bad analysis. It's only about how you read the charts, and for traders, that is most important, how good you are in money and risk management. And rest, we will cover together as always on session recaps, live education, live trading on Wednesdays uh, from February and on. And I hope that we will be making even more pips than we made 
in 2016. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for being here with me and my friends and company Admiral Markets. I wish you the best in 2017 for all of you and for all your family. Rest assured that I will always be there for you. Thank you. Have a great new year. Enjoy it to the full extent. Wherever you might live and might be, the world is yours. Cheers, guys. Talk to you soon. Happy New Year.